this video, I'll show you how to carry out the nearest neighbor algorithm. We're going to start at point A, and because this is a greedy algorithm, we're going to go for the shortest distance to the next point. We'll repeat this process until we've got a complete tour. If we're going to a new point and we've got two points that are the same distance, we'll toss a coin to decide which point to go to. In the support files area, you've been provided with a spreadsheet that automatically calculates the distance between the points. Note that the points in this demo are very different to the points you've been provided with. Mine are actually much closer together, so please don't worry if the tour that you calculate is significantly longer than the tour you see in this video. The method should be the same. Note that we can find out which point is which by going point C A would be a distance of 8, point A B would be a distance of 1.4, and so on. When we're starting, we're going to start at point A, and as you can see in this first row, our shortest distance is between points A and B. We're now finding the distance between points B and what comes next. I'm going to ignore point A and join it to H, where the distance is also 1.4. A quick reminder that to access your points, you need to use the URL you've been supplied. Click on the three dots and choose to open in the app. Please choose your polygon tool and start to join your points. So I know that A and B are close, and the next closest one to B is H. Between H and I and H and M, I have a tie. So to resolve this, I can toss a coin, either an actual one or a virtual. And my rule is that if it's heads, I go left. If it's tails, I go right. So in this case, I'm going to head to the left of that point, which makes it M. And once again, I have a similar dilemma. So in my case, I'm going to flip the coin again. And once again, I end up going to the left. I can see that S is closest, and I'm just going to continue this until I've joined all the points. As you can see, I've joined most of the points together, but I do have quite a problem because these outlying points mean that I'm going to have quite a large polygon. I'm not convinced this is the best option, but now that I'm done, I can go back into my measuring tool. I don't want to choose the area, I do want to choose the distance, and if I click on the brown shape, it gives me a distance. I can then compare this with the distance for my previous eyeball route. So there's what my slideshow looked like. And I noticed that when I do compare it with my eyeball, nearest neighbor actually gave me a shorter tour. 